OK. Barry's going to be a little bit late, but I want to crack on without him. Um, I want to discuss some uh, new sub-branch proposals and uh, some financial projections. Has anyone got anything they want to add to the agenda before we start? Yeah, Alison. Clive, why are you dressed as David Barry? Just uh, sort of make the camera close. I'll be with you for a sec. Lovely, all right. Do um, you want to just sort of tell me a bit about yourself? Just yeah, uh, my name is Clive Meadows. I'm 32 years old. I, um, I enjoy... So, sorry, Clive, it, on the form it says you're 37. Is... Is that right? Are, are you 37? I mean, I can put... I call it 35? Yeah, from Reading. Uh, just tell me a bit about your business? Yeah, I own Video Zone. Uh, it's a chain of high street video stores. You might have heard of us. Video Zone, that's for entertainment. We're going to call it the greatest stories ever sold. But we rent them. We sell some off. After we've. Uh, I build it up um, from nothing by myself. The, the, the form says. With my partner Barry. That's what I was. Yesterday, I did an audition for the biggest show on British television. What? EastEnders? No, it's not a soap, it's weekends. A game show? Sort of. Big break? No, think Matthew Kelly. You're going for gold? That's Henry Kelly. I'm going to be on stars in their eyes. As Henry Kelly? No, Matthew Kelly. As David Bowie. Can I say who I'm going to be? Yes, go on. Tonight, Matthew. I'm going to be Mr. David Bowie. And can you just tell me why you like him? Um, yeah. This man's a comedian of rock. A space alien poet has come down to take his cadets um, and go on. Could you just do it yourself? Yeah. It's weird, because I've sort of become him. I suppose I'm his cracked actor. It's like, say, who is David? You know, is Ziggy him? Am I Ziggy? Can you just tell me why you like David Bowie? Yeah. I've always admired him. Um, I've not so much followed in his footsteps as walked alongside him. We're very similar. We're both self-made men. He does what he does well. I do what I do well. I can do what he does as well. Tell my wife I love her. Very much she knows. Ground control to Major Tom, your circuit's dead. There's something wrong, can you hear me, Major Tom? Clive. Barry, can you hear me, Major Tom? Why are you dressed as David Bowie? Stars and eyes. Hear me, Major Tom. Can you hear am I sitting in my tin can? Stop it now. Far above the world. Clive, get down. I'm probably going to be on Stars and no eyes. Probably. Well, and I am. You mean you're leaving definitely There'll on? There'll be television... Radio, magazines, you can't buy that sort of publicity. Yes, we can. You can't buy David Bowie. You're not David Bowie. It's good as. I had this uh, idea, right? It's a simple TV ad, me dressed as David. I'm just going to show it. Ah! Well, I'll just do it. Stand Hello. I've just fallen to Worth and landed in Video Zone. There's one near you. Why not drive in Saturday? And rent the Disney classic, Aladdin, saying... We've got It's a Wonderful Life on Mars. Suffragette City, Slickers, one and two, we've got them both. Rebel Rebel without a cause. Excellent, see? John, I'm only dirty dancing. Can you do anything with Titanic? Don't do that when I think I can't. Are we partners? What? Don't you think I should know if you're going to pull a stunt like this? What are you doing? It's a hobby. You play golf. Not in a business meeting, I don't. Maybe you should. What? I don't, I don't know. Clive, what are you doing? It's just something I thought I'd do, OK? And if I was to put a record out and get a bit of profile... A record out? You're too... Take the wig off. Don't you think you're a bit too old to become a pop star? I'm 32. You're 37. Call it 35. Is it? Big trouble. 
in Little China Girl. That's not bad. Jeez. And I need you to sign these. They're for the distributors. Oh, my wrist aching. Can't you fake my signature yet? Only on your American Express card. See, never trust a woman. That's why I never got married. That's why your wrists ache so much. Someone's got to test those top shelf videos. Young, free and single and all that. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Young, free and single. With your long blonde hair and your eyes of blue The only thing I ever got from you Was sorrow Lovely mm. You're acting funny, trying to spend my money You're out there playing your thing Oh, sorrow Sorrow You never do what you know you ought to <laughs> Something tells me you're the devil's daughter. Sorrow. So, put that there. That'll be fine. And that leaves that hand free for the phone. So, right. <clears throat> Hello? You're uh, meant to wait for it to ring first. So, have you got anyone like big on your books? Or. Big? Fake city rollers. Fake city rollers. Mock the hoople. Non Bon Jovi. That's clever. <laughs> Mungo Jerry. Can he just call himself that? Or does... It is Mungo Jerry. The real. We've also got the best Queen tribute band in the whole of Britain, bar none. Right Fred's dead. <laughs> right Fred's dead. <laughs> Who are this lot? Uh, lookalikes. Very, very big. That's Nigel Baker. Michael Caine. You've got a good eye. Oh. You were only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. <laughs> Brilliant! It's got three Elvises. Yeah, one young and two fat. Well, actually, uh, Phil's no longer with us. What'd he do, die on the shitter? <laughs> no, he died falling off a ladder. He is dead, then. Hire of white limousine, £300. Hire of pink limousine, £340. I don't know why it costs more. What's it for? It's tax deductible. How yeah. is it tax deductible? Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Get rid of some of your corners, you square. <laughs> Stop it. Square man. Shut up, okay. Clive. Square eel. How is an orange wig tax deductible? I'm an entertainer. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you owned a video chain. I can use my celebrity status to help the video chain. That's what I've been trying to say. OK, listen, yeah? Richard Branson is the face of Virgin. Chris Evans is the face of Virgin, the other one that he sold. David Bowie is the face of Video Zone. You are not David Bowie. You are not a celebrity. Yeah. Next Tuesday, I am appearing on a cable TV channel with Jonathan Morris from Bread. Stop it! You have spent more than two and a half grand in two weeks on this Bowie shit. This is a business. If you want to become a karaoke champion, fine. Do it in your own time, spend your own money. Right, I will. What's this business worth? Four and a half million, last count. Give me two, I'll be gone. Clive, that is absolutely... No, 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 you've done me a favour, actually. Now I can actually achieve something. They laughed at Bill Gates. When? When? No, 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 when did they? No, 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 when did they? I can't keep my office, can I? Till I get another one? It's your office, Clive. Barry and I are separating after 15 years. Do you want to work for me or him? Let's make your mind up time. Don't embarrass her. You bring home 250 quid a week? Come with me. 400. 400 quid a week? That's show business. <laughs> Hands up who wants to work for me. Um, I do. Uh, actually, put your hand up. 400 quid a week? Or 350. You said 400. Hundred. That is a lot, but I mean, clear your desk or we'll move it a little bit closer to mine. Jesus. You can uh, start wearing sexier clothes as well if you want.
that's fine. Mamma mia. Ding dong. Schwang. <laughs> oh yes. Jacqueline Dean is Dolly Parton. Works, doesn't it? Works for me. Can I borrow this for a minute? If I'm not back in half hour, call an ambulance. <laughs> No. Only joking, she's lovely. Jackie's got everything. Stunner. Belts them out. Great pair of lungs. Never mind her lungs, look at her. Oh, you meant her tits. <laughs> Good. I could arrange a little meeting if you want. Please. Get your hands on the real things. Ooh. <laughs> Fun bags. Mm. <laughs> 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 Make it happen. Who's that nutter? Steve Baxter. Brilliant. He's a musical impressionist. I'll be quite honest, I think he's the new Joe Longthorne. Mm. Doing a lot of TV at the moment. Stars No Eyes? Well, no. Mm. He merges different pop stars. Very funny. Sheena East, 17. Kiki D, Dozy, Beaky, Mick and Titch. He does a show called Night of a Thousand Stars. It's a one-man show in which he does over 20 different stars. Prince, Stevie Wonder, Gary Glitter, Bowie, all sorts. He does Bowie? Oh, he doesn't tread on your toes. It's comedy. No, if he's doing Bowie, I'll sue him. Instead of his their life on Mars, his is, is my wife in Spa. Yeah. You huh? tell him, if he's doing Bowie, I will crush him. Keep your friends close to you. And your enemies even closer. Uh, this is our promotional calendar. I send these out each year. You'd get your own month. I want uh, June. That's my birthday. No problem. <laughs> Where's Baxter? October. Steve's always had October. I want since October. I... Thanks, Bev. Dolly Parton's out front. Part of her is. Hi. <laughs> Men <Menotics>. Fine. <laughs> right. Uh, you just happen to be here. Rush. I don't believe it. I believe it. Just have a beer. Clive, Clive Meadows. Meadows. <laughs> Dolly Parton. You look like her. I'll uh, just be popping next door, uh, Jackie, to get those contracts I promised for you to yeah, sign. Because um, I, I was just passing, so... Clive just happened to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Dolly Parton. Oh. What do you do? I do uh, David Bowie, but you're just like her. <laughs> well, I wish I had her money. You can have. I am a millionaire. Millionaire? Yeah. How do you make your money? I just do this for a laugh. I own a... Uh, Chain of video shops. So. What? Dirty videos? Well, I've got some, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I've never met a millionaire before. Not bad for a man who's 32. Call it 35. Um. Mm. They're not real. The money is there, as I say. So, um. Well, it's lovely to meet you. I'd better sign these papers. I've got a gig. Yeah, can I have a look? What? Can I have to see them, please, quick? Oh. Please. What's go. that? Fifty pounds already. What? Hundred. I'm not a prostitute. No, I'm a performer. Yeah, just think of it as performance. And you... I'm leaving. He said I could see them. That's why. <laughs> Let it go, then. Rubbish. I see it as a, a twelve-part series. It's called Golden Years. A personal journey through the rock and roll years, because they were golden years. Um, put this program, put this work, will be like the rock and roll years, actually, but without all the boring shit, the news and Cuba, and presented properly by me, David Bowie. It's like the uh, the war and peace of rock music. Better. That covered one subject. This covers loads. Two. No loads, the bands, the business, no, the no, drugs. No, 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 War and Peace is two. Exactly. And it was just a book. It's the 12-part TV series. When did you get your ear pierced? Oh, that. Oh, the yonks. It's... it's bleeding. Really stings. Yeah. Will do for a few days. So I'll take it out, yeah. 
and then... Lose the hat, yeah. yeah. Clive? Barry? Right, you've heard the pitch. Get on to every TV company. Um, mm. Meridian, LWT, Granada, definitely Granada. Anyone who likes the Sweeney. Um, call the BBC, obviously. Find out if they're doing another perfect day. I doubt those stars want to do it again. Tell them I also do Paul Young. So, go in. Crofty. <laughs> Ian Croft, we've got the same agent. We're going to do a duet together. Show you, Freddie. No. Show her. Really good. Thank you very much. Uh, Zoe, uh, can you uh, take something down for me? Yeah. Your knickers. You'll be throwing at us soon, live on stage. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you little bitch. I need you to get two coffees. Ow! Let's see Steve Baxter do that. <laughs> so, are you two. Uh... I don't kiss and tell like you, Crofty. So, you are then? Might be. <laughs> it's, it's my chair, but just been on. Make yourself at home. Sod it. <sighs> the old laptop. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Apple. Nice. Expensive, actually. Yeah. Okay, don't, um, actually don't uh, catch. Just fine. Coffee. Mm. <sighs> Cheers, doll. What are you doing? Oh, rape, rape, rape. Do that again, and I'll have you up in front of a tribunal. Oh, you'll have me up in front of a what? Love us, Tiff. <laughs> Do you, Freddy? Hey, oh, be a little, a little, a so like you. Hello. Hello, Clive. Hi. It's James here from Stars in the Rhine. James, how the hell are you? I'm good, yeah, and you? Bearing up, Jimmy, go on. Clive, we've decided not to use you this series. Why? You were great, Clive, but we've sort of gone with a more experienced David Bowie. Bollocks! I am the premier Bowie impersonator in this country. Let me speak to the producer. He's not here at the moment, so I... Well, I, well, I will speak to him and I'll probably know him and you've made the mistake of your career. I'm gonna go now. Clive. I'm gonna go now, James, but I will call back. Who is this Pratt? Anyway, I've never heard of him. It's a young guy called Steve Baxter. He... Good news for Steve. Yeah. Be a shame if he uh, never made it to the studio, wouldn't it? What are you going to do? Nothing. I, don't... I want to have a word with him. Just leave it. No, I want to talk to him. Well, I don't want you to. Well, I do. Forgive me. Still love me. Is that him? Angus, don't. Do you like touching my girlfriend's ass? Angus! Tell him, oh. tell him. Come here! Hey, oh. Not now. Do you want a punch in. Was that Freddie Mercury? Oh, yeah. That's good. Do you want a punch in the face or a slap in the ass? Oh, there is a slap on the ass. But say please. I don't really want either of them. Say please! Please! Please, can I have a slap in the ass? Please, can I have a slap on the ass? Get. Clive. Harry. You do it. Harder. Do it like Freddy. <laughs> if you ever touch my girlfriend again, I can I use this if you want. No. Look, you've been warned. Twat. Zoe! Yep. Well, I think I'll just... I'll just shoot off then. Yeah. Going well then? Yes. Going well. 
I was going to say to you, probably going to knock this Bowie thing on the head for a little while. I haven't actually sold the shares in there. Come back to work, yeah. then. Why not? Sack Zoe. <clears throat> Put her wages back down. Hmm, sensible. It's good to have you back. It's my ruler. It's our ruler. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. Ooh. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Do, 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 ten. Ground control nine to Major A hey, Tom. Seven, two, 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 six. Commencing countdown engines on. Do, 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 do. Check ignition. And may God's love be with you. <laughs> this is ground control to Major Tom. You really made the great. Oh, I wasn't doing it. You don't have to use it. Clive and I had a meeting with the Warners people on Tuesday, and we're all systems go on that. So... Have we heard anything yet about the DVD campaign? Yes, good news. We've agreed to finance deal on it, and what we're hoping for now that... Oh. Oh, yeah. Hear me out. Get out. Above the shops, yeah? It's just a symbol. Get out! And then the words, the video shop formerly known as Video Zone. Was he blacked up? 